we are going to start off just by showing you really quick how I get into my car. Um, my legs do work so I can stand up. I pretty much just have no balance. So pretty much I just stand up, get into the seat. I wrap my arm around like that and pull in the wheelchair. Um, this is a newer car, so I'm learning a little bit. Um, you can see right there my knees hit the steering column normally, so that's why I had to move the controls to the right hand side. Um, the pedals do work completely normally, so enable to put it into reverse, park, drive, and everything, I actually press forward with my foot to put it into gear, and then I put my hand on the lever, and I let go of the brake with my foot, get it out of the way, and then I use the hand controls. So the first part of this video is how I get in, how I drive, and then I'm going to show you how I built it after this. Um, a really quick note is when you have the uh, wrist breaker or the knob on your steering wheel, there is a really good spot to use it and or it's however you like it but I like it up there and you can actually see I move my hand down and I don't use it for the most part but I only use it to turn like right right now I'm about to turn so I moved up to the knob I make my turn and then I go back down to the steering wheel. So, this is the general design. This is the, uh, Bracket off of an old wheelchair I have. So I got this cable drive. Works like any other cable drive. Not that complicated. It's just like a bicycle uh, brake. And then this is the gas pedal from the Element. Uh, we made two brackets and welded them on. I'll show those. So the first bracket is this black bracket. And I need to tilt it that way. So it the spring goes down there. Or the cable goes onto the bottom of this. And then it ties with a lock nut. And then to hold the sheath of the cable... We made this bracket, if you see this L, and then that just goes up and has a hole that holds the, uh, the sheath of the cable. So now, I have to hold this a uh, kind of funny way. So if I hit the... So all I'm doing is this. So if I hit that, you can see, let's see, it's got a good angle. That pulls that up. So as you can see, the brake pedal just has one hole that the bolt goes through in this little bracket that we made. That's not too hard to fabricate. This is the gas pedal. Um, of course, I am just squeezing the handle. I am not pressing the, the actual pedal. And then the only thing I didn't really go into 
was the bracket the bar attaches to, which is just a angle iron with two holes that actually go into the seat molds. And then this is a little extra feature we did of why we use this bar when a able driver gets in. You can actually fold it down like that and then the bar doesn't get in the way or doesn't confuse anybody and you can use the pedals exactly like normal. If you like this video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.